All right, the idea is the following. I want to make this uh, quadratic equation in vertex form. The vertex form looks something like this. Y equal A parentheses X minus H squared plus K. And what happens is these values of H and K are the coordinate of the vertex. Okay. That's what this uh, means. Uh, that's what we like. Uh, we would like to use this uh, quadratic equation form because the values of uh, h and x gives me the vertex. In other words, the middle of the u. In this case, the u is going down like this, and the vertex is right there in the middle. How I know the u is down. The concavity is down because the value of x squared here is negative. Okay, the coefficient of x squared is negative. Now, the idea is to convert this equation into vertex form. So look what I'm gonna do. So the quadratic equation we have is 0 0.4x squared plus 9.6x, you forgot to put the x next to the 9.6, plus 11. Now, the way we convert this uh, quadratic equation, let me put the y here. Uh, the way we convert, in fact, I don't need to put that y. I, I will put it later on. The way we convert this quadratic equation in vertex form, like up here, is we're going to apply completing the square method. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make I'm going to complete the square with the terms that contain the variable x. That's what I'm putting this parenthesis here. I'm working only with those two terms because that's what I'm going to use to complete the square like we did in uh, week 7, okay, in the DQ. The first thing I need to do is I need to have the x squared being multiplied by 1. Right now it's being multiplied by negative 0 0.4. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to divide each one of these by negative 0 0.4. Okay, that's what I'm going to do. And when I divide that, I'm going to get x squared and minus and 9.6 divided by negative 0 0.4. That's how you get 24x. Okay, now I divided each of these two by negative 0 0.4, but in reality, what I did is I factor it out. That's what I'm going to write there, negative 0 0.4 out here. Okay, and then I'm going to close the parenthesis. I'm going to have a, I'm going to leave this big gap here on purpose. You're going to see why in a moment. And then I have outside the 11. If I multiply this negative 0 0.4 by x squared and by 24x, I'm going to go back to the original problem. And remember, that's the idea. You're doing some manipulation with algebra, with the equation, with the expression, as you have said. But if you multiply, if you simplify everything, you should go back to the original problem always. Now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to complete the square with whatever is inside the parentheses. In other words, with the x squared minus 24. And to complete the square, you need to take the coefficient of the x, which in this case is negative 24. And you're going to do two things. Number one, you're going to divide it by 2. That's the first step. And then whatever answer you get, you're going to square it. So negative 24 divided by 2 is negative 12. Negative 12, when you square it, that's going to be 144. Now you know where the 144 came from. Okay. So that means that to complete this square here, I just need to add 144 in this big space that I have. All right. That's how that's how you uh, uh, got it. All right. Now, how do we get the 57.6? This is why 144 is not part of the original problem. Okay. So whatever I added, I need to get rid of it. Okay. I need to uh, 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 subtract it, or whatever I subtract, I need to add it. Whatever you do, you need to undo. Now look what happened. If I multiply the negative 0.4 by 144 I'm gonna get a negative 57.6 so in other words 
right now I have an extra negative 57.6 that is not part of the original problem so I need to get rid of that negative 57.6 and how you undo uh, negative 57.6 well you're gonna add 57.6 because if you have an amount or you have a number and you add the opposite this will become zero so right now inside the parentheses if I multiply that 0 0.4 negative by 144 I have this negative 57.6 but that's not part of the original problem so I need to get rid of it and how do you get rid of it by adding 57.6 and you're gonna do that outside the parentheses and that's how it came out okay finally let's finish completing the square and to finish completing the square this can be factor this is a trinomial perfect square square root of x squared is x square root of 144 is 12 the sign here in the middle is a negative that's why I'm gonna have a minus and I'm gonna square this outside I have the negative 0 0.4 and when you combine these two terms that's how you get 57.6 okay now this look now let me put back the y let me put the y here y equal now this equation here now looks like in vertex form so that means this is my h here let me use a different color uh, let me use a different color here orange uh, this is my h and this is my k and that's why the vertex is 12 comma 57.6 All right, I hope this helps. Oops, I believe I did a mistake here adding. Oh, yes, I did. Let me fix that before I leave. Uh, it's not 57.6 here. If I add these two, I'm going to have 68.6. That will be your uh, K value. So let me fix it here. So the vertex will be. Uh, 12 comma 68.6 sorry for that careless mistake I hope this helps now